up, guys? This is Vic from Drop Spotlight. We're here live at Heroes of Fantasies with the man of the hour, Rikishi. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me on. Oh, thank you. So I had a couple of questions I wanted to ask you, Rikishi. And first and foremost, how did you get into wrestling? Well, um, I come from a long family uh, of uh, in the industry. Uh, first and foremost is my late uncle, um, High Chief Peter Maivia. My uncle's off in Sika. And uh, that kind of, you know, opened the door for me as well as a young kid. So it's through my uncles how I be able to, was able to come into the industry. Awesome, awesome. As a huge wrestling fan, we, uh, we've seen the, your family out there in the wrestling from many numerous promotions. How do you feel about your family's successes out there? Man, it's been a long ride. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of... Uh, of the legacy of the Samoan dynasty, uh, past, present, and future. Um, I never know when it's going to stop, man, honestly. You know, uh, it started from, you know, my uncles and so forth, all the way down now to, you know, to the middle, the late mighty Yokozuna, uh, my younger brother, the late Umanga, um, from head shrinker Samu, uh, to myself, the, the Usos, my sons, and all the way to... Uh, my cousin Roman Reigns, so it's been a long, long, long legacy of just being proud to be a part of the Samoan dynasty. Uh, it's been hard work, and but we're just those type of those type of guys, man. We like to compete, and uh, we we want to be the best at anything that you know we put our hands on. Awesome. That's great to hear, man. We enjoy, as a fan, we enjoy watching y'all, man. And we say thank you for that. Thank you. And you know what? I, I, you know, I want to, uh, you know, personally say thank you to all the fans out there. I mean, uh, you guys pretty much uh, have always supported my family uh, in this industry. Um, the WWE has set the big stage for everybody. And they've been in business for well over 100 years. And I'm proud to say that the Samoan Dynasty family has been there uh, uh, for well over 75 years and so it's with the fans uh, you know I feel like you know that we are family with the WWE but more so f uh, family with all the fans worldwide uh, they've watched us grown from youngsters uh, into grown men uh, like myself today <laughs> <laughs> and and you know it just uh, uh, the, it continues and just to say thank you to all the fans for the love and support through the years. Awesome, that's great to know, great to know. Uh, my next question is, uh, thank you for doing this event today for a charity event. How did you get into charity events? Well, I have a close friend of mine by the name of Tanner Wilbur. And, uh, you know, it's through the uh, wrestling industry that uh, we became very good friends. Um, I've always taught, you know, from my uncles, to never ever turn any of your fans, uh, fans away. Uh, without your fans, there is no you. And through the relationship between myself and Tana, come to find out that her daughter, uh, I was uh, one of her favorite wrestlers. And uh, she is also uh, diagnosed with uh, autism. And it was just for me that, you know, uh, it's, it's a no brainer. You know what I mean? You, you have your, your fan, it's, I'm your number one you know, best wrestler, your hero in wrestling. And, you know, I wanted to reach out to what can I do for her? What can I do to help to bring awareness? I had no idea that uh, she was diagnosed as well. And so uh, if I can use the vehicle of professional wrestling, uh, the platform of, of my status in this industry, uh, to be able to bring awareness to autism, uh, it's to me, I'm very proud uh, to be a part of it and to be able to help bring awareness throughout the whole world. Awesome. Thank you for that, brother. Thank you, man. And I want to uh, make sure that, uh, you know, to get more information, too, as well, uh, you can go on their social media. It's on Facebook. as uh, Bustin. That's B-U-S-T-I-N, the number four, Autism. And you can also go as well and uh, uh, check out their Instagram and their Twitter as well. So, but most of the information that's on there on the Facebook, uh, they're very active and to keep you with, you know, it updates on uh, autism awareness and the next signings and so forth. 
Awesome, that's great to know. Our fans will be checking that out as well. And I want to thank you guys as well for being sponsors. You know, I'd like to also thank you, uh, the heroes and uh, fantasies here, uh, here in uh, San Antonio, uh, Texas, which is a beautiful place. Uh, this is probably the biggest damn comic co uh, comic book store I've ever been into. I mean, <laughs> you, you can actually fit a, a wrestling ring in here and have a show in here. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so I want to thank all the sponsorships uh, uh, that came aboard for uh, Busting for Autism. I want to thank all the fans here in San Antonio, Texas, uh, for coming out to show support here. It was, uh, um, it was a big turnout, and I was just, I'm so grateful and so thankful that there are people out there not only uh, uh, love professional wrestling, but also has a heart to be able to give back to an uh, uh, organization and nonprofit such as Autism. Awesome. Thank you so much. And also, last one, uh, where can fans find you on social media? Oh, my goodness. All you got to do is go at the real Rikishi. There's only one me. Um, <laughs> you can Google me. Uh, I'm on Twitter at the real Rikishi, and Facebook at the real Rikishi, and IG. I stay pretty active on IG. That's Junior Rikishi Fatu. So you get half of my name, meaning it's J.R. Rikishi Fatu, F-A-T-U, all in one. Awesome, awesome, fans. Go check out uh, Rikishi's. Go check out social media as well as Busting for Autism. And thank you so much, Rikishi, for this event. This is Vic from Delta Spotlight. We'll see you at the cons.